Turkey is taking significant steps to harness its hydroelectric power potential. The Yusufeli Dam stands as one of the top mega projects in the country. Serving as an arch dam located on the Koru River near Yusufeli in the Artvin province within the eastern Black Sea region of Turkey. It is a key component of the larger Choru River development plan and is currently the second largest dam in this project. As of 2023, the Yusufeli Dam holds the distinction of being the tallest dam in Turkey and the fifth tallest in the world. For Turkey, hydroelectric dams are not merely sources of energy and revenue, but also powerful tools for exerting geopolitical influence. Nestled in the picturesque Artvin province of Turkey lies the ambitious Yusufeli Hydroelectric Power Project, which is also known as HEP, a groundbreaking endeavor that promises to reshape the country's energy future. This venture encompasses not only an impressive arch dam, but also a robust 558 megawatt hydropower plant, poised to harness the untapped potential of the Koru River. The driving force behind this gigantic project is the General Directorate of State Hydraulic Works, DSI Turkey, spearheading its construction is a formidable consortium comprising Limak Constructions, Cengiz Constructions, and Kolin Construction Company. The first studies on the Yusufeli Dam were carried out in the 1970s, and it was included in the Koru River Hydropower Development Master Plan in 1982. The feasibility report was completed in 1986, and the project was added to the National Plan in 1997. Situated approximately 10 kilometers downstream of Yusufeli, within the Artvin province, this project is located along the Koru River in the eastern Black Sea region of Turkey. It strategically occupies a position upstream of the Borska, Muratli, and the Derenair hydroelectric power plants, ensuring a coordinated and efficient energy network. The Yusufeli Dam and hydroelectric power plant project represent a massive engineering feat, combining natural resources with cutting-edge technology. With an impressive total water storage capacity of approximately 2.2 billion cubic meters, this dam has the potential to become a vital source of clean energy for Turkey's growing needs. The anticipated output of the Yusufeli Feli Dam and hydroelectric power plant is equally astounding. The plant, with a planned installed capacity of 558 megawatt, is projected to generate a staggering 1,888 billion kilowatt hour of energy annually. This translates to a significant contribution to Turkey's energy demands, fostering economic growth and environmental sustainability. Furthermore, the construction of the Yusufeli Dam required a substantial amount of iron and steel products. A staggering 70,000 tons of iron and steel, including 61,000 tons of iron and 9,000 tons of steel were integrated into the project. This substantial use of materials highlights not only the scale of the construction, but also its contribution to local industries and employment opportunities. The structure of the Yusufeli hydroelectric power project comprises a towering 275 meter double curvature concrete arch dam, complemented by a power plant housing three 186 megawatt vertical axis Francis turbine units. These turbines are engineered to function optimally under a rated head of 191 meters and a rated discharge of 107 cubic meters per second. Additionally, the creation of the Yusufeli Dam has birthed a sprawling 33.63 square kilometer reservoir with an impressive storage capacity of about 2.2 billion cubic meters. The dam itself stands as an engineering marvel with a maximum crest elevation of 715 meters and a crest length spanning 490 meters. This mammoth dam project encompasses an array of vital infrastructure elements, including four balanced cantilever viaducts, such as the Tekele Viaduct, 644 meters long, Yusufeli Viaduct, 695 meters long, Yusufeli Dam Viaduct, 340 meters long, and the Shilankar Viaduct, 530 meters long. Furthermore, the project necessitated the construction of 110 kilometers of roads, 45 tunnels, 22 bridges, and 92 culverts. It also incorporates essential features like main power transformers, a 380 kV switchyard, and precision measuring and protection 
production equipment. The fruits of this labor, in the form of generated power, will be efficiently evacuated through a robust 380 kV power transmission line, ensuring that the energy produced reaches its intended destinations seamlessly. Executing such an ambitious undertaking requires state-of-the-art construction equipment. The Yusufeli Hydroelectric Project employed a fleet of cranes, including a 12-ton 280-ECH tower crane, two 10-ton 200-ECH tower cranes, and four 6-ton 154-ECH tower cranes. Additionally, five tower cranes played a pivotal role in constructing the roads associated with the project, underscoring the magnitude of this endeavor. The construction of the Yusufeli Dam and hydroelectric power plant brings about concerns for the environment, particularly in the Koru Valley Wildlife Protection Area. A substantial portion of this protected area, approximately 6%, equivalent to 1,460 hectares, will be lost due to the dam's construction, which will essentially split the area into four parts. Beyond this direct impact, the full extent of land loss from various project components like roads, power stations, quarries, and more remains unclear. Moreover, the potential repercussions on other protected areas in the Koru catchment due to the 27 proposed dams in the region remain uncertain. The region also boasts rich biodiversity, including 509 different plant species, among which 21 are classified as critically endangered or rare in the Turkish Red Book for Plants. Notably, seven of these plant species are critically endangered, five are endangered, and nine are vulnerable. Most of these threatened plants are unique to Turkey, with some exclusive to the Yusufeli and its surroundings, the Koru Valley or the Artvin Erzurum region. However, due to a lack of baseline data on these threatened species, predicting the exact impact of the Yusufeli Dam and hydroelectric power project on them, remains challenging. Nevertheless, it's clear that these projects could adversely affect up to 21 threatened plant species, particularly those exclusive to the Koru Valley or Yusufeli. Furthermore, considering the cumulative impact of the 27 planned dams in the Koru Valley, the potential harm to these plant species is significant and raises concerns for biodiversity conservation. The Koru Valley is internationally recognized for its ecological significance, with WWF designating it as one of the 200 globally important ecological regions. It's also identified as one of Turkey's 122 important plant areas, with 104 threatened plant species, including 67 endemics. In the midst of these concerns, the EIA Environmental Impact Assessment for the Yusufeli Dam and Hydroelectric Power Project concluded that the overall impact on the identified threatened plants was not considered significant. The potential consequences on the environment, particularly the loss of protected areas and threatened plant species, remain subjects of concern that require careful monitoring and assessment. The Yusufeli Dam project in Turkey is a controversial endeavor that involves damming the Koru River to harness hydropower. It has far-reaching implications, affecting both the environment and the lives of thousands of residents. The dam's construction has led to the slow submergence of the town of Yusufeli, causing the displacement of around 7,400 residents and erasing historical sites and natural habitats. Turkey's pursuit of increased domestic energy resources is a driving force behind the dam, but it raises questions about environmental and social costs. The project has historical roots dating back to the 1970s, with construction beginning in 2013. Displaced residents now live in new housing complexes, disrupting social structures and leaving many longing for their old communities. As the water continues to rise, the old town of Yusufeli is gradually being destroyed, leaving residents grappling with the loss of their social fabric and cherished memories. In the end, the construction of the Yusufeli Dam in Turkey is emblematic of the complex trade-offs between energy generation, environmental conservation, and the social costs of such projects. While it contributes to Turkey's energy security, it has come at a substantial human and ecological cost, displacing residents and endangering unique biodiversity. The project's legacy is one of profound change, with an old way of life giving way to a new and sterile existence for those affected. What are your thoughts on the Yusufeli Dam project in Turkey? Please subscribe to our channel and share your opinion in the comments section. Thank you.